Growing up, my favourite smells would have to include my mum's baking, but my all-time favourite would have to be the smell of damp earth just after it's rained. And guess what? I now know what makes that earthy smell. Did you? If your answer was no, after this video you will, along with the chemistry behind it, to, you know, show off to your friends. It all starts with a little bacteria in the ground known as Streptomycetes coelicolor. Found inside one of these little guys is a single protein called Germacratinol synthase. This protein has the job of converting the metabolite farnesyl diphosphate into germacratinol, which then in turn is converted into, drumroll please, geosmin, our odour producing organic compound. So what does geosmin look like? Just for you, I've created a 3D model to help better understand the structure of this organic compound. On paper, it would look like this. But I'm sure a 3D version would make, help you better understand just what geosmin looks like. With a low molecular weight, this volatile tertiary alcohol is a 1-10 trans dimethyl trans 9 decalol. But if that's too much to remember, the empirical formula of C12 H22O will do just fine. Something else you may not have known either, geosmin is a stereoisomer. That means there are two different compounds with the exact same empirical formula and have all their atoms connected in the exact same way. How are they different? Think of it like mirror imaging. Side by side and they will not line up atom to same atom. So which one are we smelling when enjoying the fresh earthy scent? Only this enantioma is synthesized in nature. So how do we know geosmin is an organic compound? Well, that's easy. It contains both hydrogen and carbon atoms, shown here and here. That's why. What about its other properties? It gets its dimethyl name by the two attached carbon atoms, here and here. Over here, you can see where it gets its tertiary alcohol property. It's an OH, or better yet, a hydroxyl group attached to this carbon atom the chemical property for alcohols. Also, you can also see it is a cyclic structure. This entire chemical structure makes geosmin a terpene derivative. This would explain the chemical property of why geosmin has a smell. And there you have it, a C12 metabolite geosmin. So when you next take a whiff of that fresh scent just after it rains, just remember, it may not be the rain you're smelling, but geosmin, my now favorite smell, and not just after rain, geosmin has been associated with the unpleasant taste in water, wine and even fish. Until next time, enjoy your geosmin smells.